Okay, hey collective. So this is gonna be a collective reading. Collective, I'm getting like it's important that you learn like how to pull your energy back or something needs to be equal. I'm getting an energy exchange, but I'm also getting like somebody could be upset with you. Somebody is upset with you because I'm getting like maybe you went through something. You and this individual went through something in the past. I'm getting like this person sees you as somebody that's very inspirational or very like a you're a motivational person. But like you were helping this person or encouraging this person to move forward, take their power back and overcome some type of obstacle or I'm getting any obstacle this individual was dealing with. Like you were encouraging this person. It's like you showed this person how to overcome because you dealt with a similar experience. But I'm getting like you had faith and this person didn't like you trusted the process. You knew everything was going to work out for you. But there is somebody that was not in that same energy. That's what I'm getting. And this person could be like somebody is upset. I'm getting collective. You're somebody that's very understanding. So you could understand how it can be, you know, a struggle to even see a way out when you're in the thick of it. But you have to like have that faith in yourself and know that things are always working out for you. Everything is working out for you in divine timing. Even the good and the bad, we can learn from all those experiences. And like, I'm getting, this is something that you did. Like you took everything that you went through, everything that you've been through. Like somebody doesn't know your story. Somebody does not know about the silent battles that you had to fight. Somebody just sees like, okay, you improving, but you're somebody that's very resilient. Everything around you that you were dealing with when you were overcoming, whatever this is, you were overcoming. It like, you could have just gave up, but you didn't. That's what, like, you're a fighter. You're somebody that's very resilient. You're very determined. You know what's meant for you. That's what I'm getting. You attract. That's what I'm getting here. But nobody really knows about, like, the silent battles that you had to deal with. Somebody just sees, like, your ability to transmute and move forward. That's what I'm getting. Like, you are the alchemist here. And you transmuted everything that was sent towards you because you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. I'm telling you, collective, man. Look here. When you believe in yourself, when you have faith in you and your connection to the divine, you will move forward. You will overcome. I'm telling you. And like, there's experiences that you've been through in life, things that you've dealt with in life that like, most people like, I'm telling you like, people, people see you in this energy, this empress energy. But they don't really know what you dealt with or what you had to go through. That's what I'm getting. People don't know what you had to go through to get to this Ten of Cups. People don't know all of the light. I'm telling you. You could be somebody that's very private here. But like if people really knew what you had to deal with, man, I'm telling you. And somebody just sees like the end, like you succeeding or you receiving these accomplishments or whatever accolades or you just moving forward that's what i'm getting receiving these new opportunities like that's all people that's all they see whoever these individuals are you're dealing with here collective that's all these individuals like i'm telling you but don't know what you really had to like you had to go through the thick of it to get to where you are and you had to like when you didn't have nothing all you had was faith when you were at your lowest, at like rock bottom, everything falling apart around you. On top of that, you had people mocking you and kicking you when you were down and all you had was faith. And somebody watched you transform your life. That's what I'm getting. Somebody watched you transform your life. Somebody watched you transform spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. Like your whole life is about to go through a glow up here. That's what I'm getting. You are about to go through a glow up on so many different levels, collective. I'm telling you. And somebody that sees you as inspirational, this person may feel like, I don't know. It's like somebody, you really got to have faith in yourself. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like, whoever you are, you're a very loving person. But you also know your worth and you know your value. You're not going to allow somebody to get upset with you and try to like attack you because you took your power back and decided to move forward and transform your life. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody feels like things just come to you easily or you easily manifest. But like if somebody knew how much you had to believe in yourself when you were at your lowest and believe in your connection to the divine on top of all of the attacks that you had coming at you from every which way.
Man, look here. And you could have easily just gave up on yourself. You got to say, you got to know what's coming in for you is coming in for you in divine timing. Not on somebody else's time, not on your time, not on what you see. Like, you got to stay focused on what you have going on. You can't be watching what other people around you have going on or watching other people's blessings and getting upset. Like, no, you got to know your blessings are coming in too. Like, that's how you stay focused and stay grounded and stay connected to that God source energy that's within all of us. Yeah, somebody feels betrayed. I'm getting you overcame something and there's somebody that feels betrayed because of your ability to overcome. Your whole life is about to transform because you believed in yourself. And maybe somebody could be making you feel guilty or maybe somebody just turned on you and somebody is now being mean to you or something like that. Because you had the ability to transform your life or something. So somebody is mad at you. Yep, because this person feels like you're, okay, you're moving forward. Things are moving forward for you. That's what I'm getting. But you were in a place, you were in this five of pentacles. That's what I'm like. Nobody ever saw you in this five of pentacles because like, you know what's meant for you. So nobody's going to see you in this five of pentacles here. That's what I'm getting. It's not like you're not vulnerable or you're not open, but when things are going bad, you know that like things are always working out for you. So you were continuing to stay in this empress energy here of creating, manifesting, being abundant. Like you knew what was meant for you before it even came into this 3D. That's what I'm getting and that's how you move forward. Like, this is like, you know that this is you. Even if you're at this five of pentacles, you still know this is you. You still see yourself as this empress. You still move around, operate as if you are in this empress energy. That's what I'm getting here. And somebody is like, somebody is upset in regards to that. Like, somebody feels like, I don't know. It's something that this person, whoever this individual is, that you're dealing with this person that's upset with you, this person feels like they can't do that or like they shouldn't do that. Like they feel like they should not see themselves as successful when they are in this five of pentacles or something. Like maybe this is somebody like, I'm really getting collective. You are somebody that's very, you're somebody that's very creative, but I'm also getting you're very optimistic. You have a very optimistic, you have a glass half full outlook on the world. That's what I'm getting here. And somebody else, you know, at times when this person is going through things, it's hard for this individual to see the world in that light. But somebody sees you as somebody that's very inspirational because of your ability to do that. But somebody is also upset because like, Whatever this is, you were creating, building, somebody sees like your ships coming in or something like that. I don't know. If you went out and started your own business and like you knew your business was going to be successful, you just had to be like, you just kept cultivating it. You were patient. You knew your ships were coming in in divine timing. And somebody like, I'm telling you, somebody saw you as very inspirational being in that energy. But when your ships actually came in collective, that's when this person, like somebody got upset with you or got mad at you. It's like, this is somebody you have a lot of love for. And you're like, no, like you're not going to allow this person to like do you like that or whatever this is. Like you, somebody thinks that you're all this like loving individual, like you're easily manipulated. You're easily controlled. You're easily, I don't know. Whoever this, like somebody, it's not that this person feels like you're easily manipulated or controlled. It's that this person feels like you're somebody that's weak because of like, I don't know. And you're not, this is too many, but if somebody really knew what you had to go through, it's like, you don't even, you don't talk about the things that you've been through. That's what I'm getting. You don't talk about the things that you've been through in life here. Like you just connect to the divine and you keep moving forward but if somebody knew what you actually went through all the sleepless nights that you actually had things that you had to overcome that would break the next person i'm telling you and somebody just sees your ships coming in because you trusted the process but if somebody would have seen you when you was in this energy when you were in this energy i'm really getting you're somebody that's very you i'm getting you're vulnerable you're somebody that's very open. 
But at the same time, you're not somebody, you don't stay down for long. You're nobody's victim, including your own. You don't stay down for long. So, I'm getting somebody sees your optimistic outlook on life as like, like you're naive or like you're this dreamer, but sometimes it's all you have is your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, what you want in life. On top of your faith and your trust and your connection to the divine, your ability to tap into that God source energy when everything around you is falling apart, man. I'm telling you, if somebody really knew your story here, collective, if somebody really knew what you had to go through, the things that you don't talk about, the things that damn near broke you and almost took your will to even live. Do yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't watch somebody else receive blessings and think that that just easily came to them. I'm telling you. Don't watch somebody else like... Somebody just is watching you and they feel like, like you're lucky and or something. I don't know what this is, but somebody feels betrayed. Like somebody feels betrayed seeing you overcome. You overcame here collective. When you didn't know what you were going to do, when you were down to your last, I'm here down to your last dollar. You were thankful and you were grateful for that dollar. Yeah, you could have been. It was like your blessings will always come in in divine timing. That's what I'm getting like. Yeah, you were down to your last dollar. You might not have known how that bill was about to get paid, but you knew things were always working out for you, regardless of the outcome. So you did things and put yourself in positions, when, whether it's you going out there and getting resources or just like trusting, like you put yourself out there to be vulnerable and open, open to the unknown. You were not fearing the unknown collective. This doesn't even have to be your last dollar. This can be when you were like, man, look here. You had people trying to break you in life. Things that you've been through in life. Traumatic things that you have been through in life. Things that you don't talk about. People see you as somebody who's very strong. You're very strong, very motivational. But they didn't see you when you was like this. They didn't see you when you was up, in, when you were isolating yourself. Intentionally. It's like you isolate yourself and you could even have people get mad at you for isolating yourself. But don't, don't understand why you have to be in this energy in order to heal and transmute the energy that you, man, look here. Because every day, like you could have been somebody in the past. It was like you will always try to work hard, move forward, and you will always get knocked back. And you will be in this energy. Could have even been a nervous wreck. You could have even been a nervous wreck here. But you were like, no, I don't want that for my life. I don't want that for me. I don't want that for my life. And I don't want that for my children. I don't want my, I want my children to see somebody as strong, resilient. Even when everything is like, I'm telling you. Somebody is also upset because like somebody is used to you being broke or maybe somebody is used to you being at the bottom or something like that here. I don't know. Somebody is used to you being at the bottom, but it ain't, it's your time to be front and center. This is, it's your time to be front and center. You're not to be at the bottom. You're not to be in the back. You're not to be in other people's shadows. You're meant to be front and center. And it's all about your mindset. See, when you healed your mindset, that's the, like, that is the most powerful thing. Like, somebody could see you as docile, like, easily, like, no, you're not docile. Nobody, when you know who you are and you heal your mindset, nobody's coming in and controlling you. Nobody's coming in and doing none of that. Not to this empress. Not to this empress. See, just because this empress is loving and compassionate and understanding and, you know, <laughs> I'm also getting like, you could be somebody, you could have a lot of earth in your chart here as well. Uh, you like, yeah, definitely with this hierophant, you like structure, you like things, yeah. I'm really getting somebody learning that you done, um, Okay, you could be somebody, you like structure because I'm being drawn to these wands. It's like, you know how when, I don't know if you guys ever watch those videos of the individuals that like they build, uh, you know, different homes and stuff like that from like what the earth provides for them. They build like, this is you. This is like you taking all the resources that 
the divine has provided for you and you're building on that. But like those videos, they build like they create like something out of nothing. I'm telling you, alchemy, it's like you got to see it before it's even there. You got to see it. But when those individuals build those homes, they have a vision and they put it into reality in this 3D by using what the divine has provided for them to create. This is what I'm getting that you did. This is you taking all of the hurt and everything that you've been through and you transmuted that. Somebody I'm really getting, man. Okay, I'm getting be be mindful because everything that you went through, like I said, you're taking all of this and you're building. You're building, you're creating something new for yourself. That's what I'm getting. You're creating new. You're going towards new. And somebody may try to come in and like, I'm getting kick you, knock you, like knock you down. Like somebody wants to knock you down a peg or something like, and it's crazy because this is somebody that is like, you have a lot of love for this person, but somebody doesn't know you here as well. Like somebody really sees you as somebody that's, I don't know what the hell this person is thinking, but this person showing the hell don't know you. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody is mistaking your kindness for weakness. That's really what I'm getting here. Like, no, just because you're an empath, just because you're compassionate, you're open, that does not mean you're weak. Somebody, I'm telling you. Yeah, you know when to like, like I said, with that reciprocal give and take, like, you know when to like, okay, so that's how you feel. Okay, well then I'm done type of energy like okay yeah say less <laughs> say less yep you're moving forward that's what i'm getting all of these swords all of these swords you didn't experience when you were you're taking all of that you're taking it and you're moving forward because it's all a part of your story that helped you heal move and grow and transform your life that's what I'm getting like. Everything that you experienced in the past put you in a position to be able to move forward towards new. Everything because it's lessons in every experience that we experience. I'm also getting somebody could be struggling with survivor's guilt. Do you, if people knew what you actually dealt with in life, do you see what I'm saying? I don't know who this is that's heartbroken at the fact that like you're actually like, I don't know, maybe like, okay, you were dealing, you dealt with something traumatic in the past, but this is like, it's really about, I don't know why I'm here in a battle of mindsets. See, you have a growth mindset. You didn't heal your mindset and you're transforming your life, but somebody else is not it. Like somebody else is mad at you for doing that because this person like, it's like night and day between you and this individual here. That's what I'm getting. And somebody is upset that you are able to move forward, be at peace with everything you experienced in the past in life. For some, this could be somebody that had a hand in trying to like just shatter your confidence or break you, break your will. Somebody wants to break your will here with this fork. Somebody wanted to break your will here. And you were like, no. I don't think I like this energy. Uh, yeah, I want more for myself. I want to transform my life. I want to transmute that. And that's exactly what you did. Exactly what you did. And somebody could be heartbroken here. For some, this could be somebody that had a hand in doing something to you that's upset seeing you transmute this and heal and move forward. And for some, this is somebody that don't really like. Somebody sees you as very inspirational and like somebody watch you overcome whatever this is you dealt with and you transform your life. But somebody also feels like because you're an empath, like maybe somebody's taking your kindness for weakness. Somebody may feel like you're weak. Somebody may feel like you're like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting something in regards to control. But, uh, mm-mm. Maybe this is somebody that wanted to control you and you're not somebody that's about to be controlled, period. Period. Especially if you have earth in your chart. Ain't nobody coming in and moving you, telling you what you're grounded, like the roots of a tree. And sometimes you can be so stubborn to a fault, 
But I don't know who thinks they're about to come in and dictate you and tell you what you're about to do, when you're about to do it, how you're about to do it. Coming in and trying to control you like they're about to move you, like they're about to like uproot your roots and move you. Like, no, you're not controlling somebody that's grounded in who they are, that knows who they are, that knows their worth and knows their value, even when they're going through all of this chaos. Maybe somebody did something to you because they wanted you in this five of pentacles and this individual felt like they could try to come in and control. Like maybe somebody was going to try to come in and like, I don't know, make you some type of offer when they felt like they like shut you up or I'm getting destroyed your confidence. Had you feeling like you weren't going to be successful or something. I don't know. This could be somebody that like tried to kick you when you were down or something. This is. Somebody is just mad that you believe in yourself. That's what this is. Somebody is pissed off you believe in yourself. Even when you were going through all of this. All of this betrayal. People being sneaky and doing stuff to you behind your back. Thinking that. Like people. You had people that were betraying you. But you seen everything. Because I'm being drawn to how this moon is shining down on this man. Like he feels like he's like sneaking and trying to do something. Like he's going to like try to sneak up and betray you or some mess. But no, it was all shown to you because of your connection to the divine. That's what I'm getting. So, <laughs> somebody is mad as hell because you overcame all of this. Somebody could have been kicking you when you were down, like I said. Or you dealt with just dealt with a lot in life, period. And somebody is mad because of your ability to overcome and heal and transmute. Like, you transmuted all of this. And your whole life is about to transform. Yeah, you're somebody's very strong. You're moving forward here. I'm telling you, you are very loved. You are loved by the divine here. That's what I'm getting. We all have that God source energy within us. And it's all about your will. And like your faith and belief in your connection to the divine. And you just moving forward and trusting that everything is always working out for you. This is like when you surrender and truly release control. Like I said, when you're at your lowest, when you're at rock bottom, whatever rock bottom you were at, this could even be, it doesn't necessarily have to be in regards to finances, but it could be, but it could also be just in regards to you not knowing which way to go, or you could have just been feeling like you were at a place where you were stuck, or it could be all like, maybe you felt like you were at a place where you were stuck and you had all of these other things happening in your life. And in the midst of chaos, you were able to still stay grounded. And who you are, you were able to still stay connected to the divine. That's what I'm getting here. You never gave up on yourself. And you may have somebody that's mad at you because of that. I'm about to end this. Yeah, you're going to be very successful here as well. I'm telling you, like everything you went through in life, it was not in vain. Because I'm getting, you're going to be very, very successful here or something like that. And this success is going to start with you just feeling lighter, feeling freer, feeling happier. Like you could be doing things. You could even be focusing on your health. That's what I'm getting here. And I'm really getting somebody is mad because everything you were, you experience in life, like it would have broke the average person. That's what I'm getting. You can even have people around you. This could be like fake friends. This could be family members that don't really like, you know, don't really like you, but they act like they do. This could be uh, just people that don't like whatever. And there are some individuals that see what you've been through and they're mad because it didn't break you. Some You got some people that are mad because something you've been through in life, it didn't break you. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody wanted you to be broke. Yeah, set strong boundaries. We have get up and get moving. I'm telling you. We have heal your heart here. And we have living in now. This is what helps you. You stay grounded in the present moment. Even in the midst of chaos. You bring yourself back to your center space. Regardless of what you have going on around you. That's what I'm getting. Somebody also feels like you're fronting or stunning or something like that. Yeah, but no, you're clear and you're moving forward. This is the clearest you, you have ever been. Because of what you went through. Like, that was all... Uh, uh, opportunity for you to learn grow and expand and move forward that's what i'm getting you don't allow the past to dictate who you are 
or what you are capable of doing with yourself and with your life. I don't care what you were doing in the past. I don't care what energy you were in in the past. You are the alchemist. You have the ability to heal, move forward, and transmute that. Manifest new for yourself. When you change your mindset, it's about where you're going. You really got to shift like somebody doesn't understand how you're so resilient. It's your mindset. And you're, nobody's going to come in and have control over like how you view yourself. And nobody's going to come in and break your spirit here. That's what I'm getting. You continue to move forward. But I'm going to end it there.